Hi Aries, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the What You Need to Know in the next 72 hour reads. If you are new here, welcome. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already joined me for a TGIF free question Friday, I um, invite you over there for uh, free general questions. Um, all of that will be in the description box below. The next time we meet is on the 1111 portal for uh, at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys are looking for my TikTok and my Instagram, that will also be in the description box below. I started a new segment on Instagram called Stop Trying to Make It Make Sense if you guys are interested. Um, we are three sessions deep, healing from narcissistic and abusive relationships of all sorts, you guys, not just romantic. Um, and you guys are more than welcome to um, join me over there and share your survivor stories if you would like. And if you're looking to book... Um, my services, you can do so via my website, the official website in the description box below, or you can do it uh, through the DM on Instagram. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we have going on here, guys. We have Becoming Braver Under the Deck, um, Resilience Experience Growing Stronger in a Fresh Perspective. Aries, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra with the law is not justice, rules that are not fair, uh, nonsense, uh, an Aries, a Libra, or a Taurus here with the um, Empress in the reverse, a justice card becoming braver under the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign with the nature of communication and possible things. You could be dealing with a Pisces and who in the world are you, Aries? So here's the deal. You've definitely been working on yourself, Aries. I feel like there's been a lot of uh, hermit energy going on, self-isolation, um, trying to find fresh new perspectives on how you would like to communicate your message. How do you want to communicate who you are, Aries? And with nonsense here, it's time to talk some sense. You could have had um, possibly a female here. Uh, it could be an older female, um, a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. Um, something of that nature. It could be also a boss figure of some sort here. But basically somebody who was very much an empress in the reverse. Somebody who was very needy. Somebody who um, tried to pres uh, represent themselves as somebody who um, knew how to use, let's say, the law of attraction. Somebody who knew how to be independent. But this person um, was definitely wearing a mask. This person was uh, very much in... Um, the facade of things Aries and um, I feel like this person is definitely going through some karma now um, for trying to trick you into thinking that they were something that they were not alright let's see who in the world are you so I, I feel like expect to hear some news of this person here uh, with the page of wands here you could be dealing with the Leo Sager and Aries um, a fellow Aries, but basically this person still very much wants communication with you. Um, clarify impossible things. Maybe you don't realize this. Um, maybe because they're in a brand new relationship here. Um, or maybe they're in a committed relationship, but they still very much, very much want to be a part of your world. Um, <clears throat> Could be dealing with the water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Clarify nature of communication. They don't know how to tell you that they still very much want to be committed to you. Some of you, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who is already married, Aries, who really wants like a mistress type of relationship with you. And you're kind of like in this energy, Aries, where you're like telling this person, well, yeah, that's fine, but why don't you go ask your wife if it's okay if I could be around type of energy. Like you're not trying to be the third party. But the thing is that this person is very much in love with you and they very much want to give you the world. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups here, they are like providing something for you, whether that is of emotional substance or, or physical substance that is keeping you around. Um, but you know that this person, like, this person wouldn't go and tell the main person about you 
like so it just it, it proves your point in a way where it's like well this is exactly why I don't want to be in this position because if she wouldn't accept it neither do I want to accept this but still you're kind of here um but I mean Aries it's okay like there it's it's obviously very complicated uh, completely understandable but if this person is not going to remove themselves from the third party or um, try to drag you in as a third party you need to make sure that you're comfortable enough with that um, I will tell you um, that eventually that wears off right you will especially if you know your worth Aries like eventually you're going to get over being the third party you're not going to want this you're going to want the full-blown relationship and with the law is not justice rules that are not fair as you are still manifesting this being with this person who is half half asking this relationship with you being in a whole ass committed relationship somewhere else um you're going to manifest somebody that you're going to eventually leave this person for clarify nonsense time to talk some sense five of swords yeah if you continue to deal with this person then you're just in a self-sabotaging energy or sabotaging energy um to towards this person because um you know deep inside aries that you are doing what's best for you and if you do want to date and you do want to uh get to know other people that is um you're right altogether because this person is not showing you a full blown full blown commitment so you do not need to commit to somebody who is not fully committed to you so which comes back to this energy once again that the universe is actually bringing you somebody of a vibrational match that does want a full blown commitment with you and you will leave this person that is half assing this half assing this relationship Mm -hmm. let's see yeah and that's the truth here with the ace of swords and the ace of cups and the emperor here the truth is that there is somebody that is of your equal vibration there it is there is somebody out there that you're actually being led to because with the five and the six and, and the ace of swords here that's the six of swords you are being led and guided to this emperor here and this emperor is going to give you what you want the emperor or the empress if you're a male watching watching this you know and you're being led and guided to your empress because this person would not commit to you they just wouldn't so you could be uh dealing with the air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius an aries or a taurus but you're definitely um experiencing yourself growing stronger and now that you see this fresh fresh perspective that this emperor slash empress is coming in this is your ships coming in for you aries um you're not going to feel so left out in the cold anymore because this is your person this is your person this is the person that was meant for you all along you just didn't know because you were too busy um playing house with somebody who really was playing house with somebody else that's kind of what i'm seeing here with that four of um four of wands energy like this play this person was playing house with somebody and you were trying to play house with them and there just was nothing going on and nothing progressing so now that you actually are in a vibrational match where you do want a husband you do want a wife you do want a partner this person will be coming towards you divine sun child blessings of the sun falcon yep miracle of isis this is um this is what you this is what you've been dreaming for this is what you asked for now embrace it Guardian, divine sisterhood, divine sun child, blessings of the sun falcon, blessing of the sun falcon, the divine sun child Horus, son of Isis and Osiris, flow to you now, beloved initiate. It is time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to let your light burn bright without veil, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in the Egyptian desert. 
blessings of the sun falcon her herald the time when your divine legacy is being born it is time for you to burn bright this person that you're that you're being led and guided to is definitely a divine counterpart here aries and this person i feel like you're gonna birth children with a son maybe even um but this is the person that you've been waiting for all right aries this is what i have for you and i hope that this helped bye